And now we're from our sponsor, Olympian Cruise Lines. We are going to ask you some questions. If you say yes to any of them, this advertisement is for you. One, is your environment too hot? Two, do you want to see a bigger moon? Three, do you think Saturn's rings are overrated? If you said yes, then come on out to Neptune, the farthest away for fun and play. That's right. Neptune gets the title of being furthest from the sun. This, of course, means that Uranus is the nearby real planet. Don't worry, though. It's not too far. It's only 2,782,887,126 kilometers to Neptune. This journey only takes a short 179 Earth days. Speaking of days, a day on Neptune is roughly 16 hours, or two-thirds of an Earth day. To make up for this, a Neptunian year is 60,190 Earth days. And due to the axis tilt of 28.32 degrees, which is similar to Earth's axis tilt, Neptune also experiences similar seasons. Each of these seasons lasts about 40 years. Neptune definitely has great summers. <clears throat> On only warm days, it can even get to about the negative 240 degrees Fahrenheit. But sometimes, it can go up to negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit. The mass of Neptune is 1.024 by 10 to the 26 power kilograms. That's the mass of 17 Earths. The density of Neptune is 1 64 hundredths uh, gram per cubic centimeter. A ratio comparing Neptune's and Earth's densities would be about 1 to 3, three and 4 tenths. Also due to Neptune's greater gravitational pull, a 100 pound person would weigh 110 pounds on Neptune. And I don't know if any of you listening know this, but Neptune is actually a very nice looking place. Some might think it's blue, but that's not the whole truth. It is actually a bright azul blue. The atmosphere around Neptune is made of, of hydrogen, helium, and methane gases. Neptune itself is also <coughs> believed to be entirely made of gases. However, some tourists might be interested to know that it is theorized Neptune has a solid rock cool. In fact, it is time we stop giving you boring trivia information and telling you the things you actually need to know. So first, you'll need a place to sleep while on your vacation. That means you'll enjoy the luxurious hotel that has been on Neptune's biggest moon, Triton. Just be sure not to go outside with at least 30 winter jackets on because Triton features the coldest weather in our solar system. While staying in this hotel, take a glimpse from the viewing room and admire the majesty of Neptune, especially that of its rings. That's right. You might be able to see some of Neptune's favorite ring arcs and for all you thrill seekers worry not we have created a large roller coaster propelled by nothing other than neptune's extremely fast winds and for you scholars out there we have created a museum where you can explore the history of neptune from its discovery by galileo to being named after the roman god of the sea now of course there are risks however worry not we have provided everything that you need to enjoy your visit all you need to bring is a camera you won't need, even need to bring your coat. Heat protection suits will be provided automatically. And that's it. Be sure to come out to Neptune for the most memorial vacation you will ever have. We would also like to give big thanks to NASA, the National Weather Service, and Nine Planets for their help with this venture. You will now return to your regular program.